Okay, so this is Andrew Kippen of uh, Boxy, and he's going to show us the new Boxy Beta, which is going into closed preview on uh, Monday, the 7th of December. Yeah. All right, take it away. Hey, everybody. So this is uh, Andrew with Boxy. This is our brand new beta home screen. Um, and for those of you who already know Boxy, you'll remember that the menu was kind of hidden on the left-hand side, and we had some social recommendations as well as your history and uh, a variety of things across the screen. So what we've done is kind of pull out that menu and give you access to your photos, your music, your movies, your TV shows, your apps, and the files. So this is just going to let you um, go through the files on your hard drive in case you can't find something. Um, and then we've built in these three different columns. So the first is your feed. That's a, an activity stream of recommendations from your friends, not only on Boxy, but also it's going to pull in stuff from Twitter or Facebook if you let us. Uh, so you'll be able to get all those links that people share uh, to photos or music or, or movies. Um, on those different social networking sites into Boxy. The featured area right here is going to be where we announce new content partners and where content partners can kind of sponsor uh, new shows or new movies that they want to promote. And then lastly over here, here's your queue. So this is stuff that you're saving for later just like a normal queue, but um, similar to a TiVo season pass, you'll actually be able to add a, a show to your favorites and any time a new episode comes out, you'll get it in your queue. So it'll always be uh, relevant to you. Um, so if we jump into TV shows, um, you'll notice this is very different than what you had on the Alpha. Um, we've implemented and brought in a lot of different TV shows from Netflix and other sources across the internet and built a TV library that you can search. So if I know I want to go see CSI, I can just start typing it and we'll make some recommendations. There's CSI right there. Click on it, get a little brief description, and then Boxy's gonna break it down and show me what's available online. And I can hop right into an episode, either via Netflix, or actually in this case, I know this one is available on CBS. Hmm. So we're, uh, we're essentially getting to that point where instead of having to know what app you want to go into, you just have to know what you want to watch and then you can search for it and we'll pull up wherever it's available. Okay. Um, so here's a bunch of TV shows I have I can stream on the internet. I can also uh, stream stuff from my hard drive. So these are all things that I either have locally or I've added to my TV shows um, so that I get a notice whenever any new episodes come out. And we're running right now on what platform? So we're on a Mac Mini. Okay, great. On, the, uh, on OS X Snow Leopard. All right. So tell us about availability. So we're making the, uh, the beta available in pre-release between December 7th and CES, we hope. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be letting in a couple hundred people every, uh, every week, maybe a little more than that every week, um, just to kind of test things out, get bug reports, um, test out some of the new features that we've implemented, and then we'll make it available publicly in early, early, early 2010, hopefully at CES. Okay, great. And oh, one last thing, so this is the new kind of global home screen. New global menu, so you can quickly get to your queue, your feed, settings. Uh, we've got the main menu up in the middle, and then these are shortcuts. So if you have a favorite show, like The Daily Show, you can put it here, it'll always be here. You can hop right in and get to the latest episode right away. All right, great. And it still does uh, photos and home movies and movies and stuff like that. Yep, photos, music, movies, TV shows, everything. Okay, great. Andrew, thanks a lot. Yeah, my pleasure.